Hi, grade three. I don't know if you recognize me from school, but my name's Lauren, and I'm going to show you a cool little demo today about heat transfer and different materials that hold heat or don't hold heat. So that's what we're going to look at today, and you can discuss things with your teacher further. What I have for this experiment is I have two balloons, and I've got a candle. I'm just putting it in a beaker so that the wax doesn't drip onto my pretty table. I have my lighter, and I got some water in a squeezy bottle. For the first part of the prac, I'm going to blow up a balloon and then hold it over a candle that I've lit on fire. So I'm going to light this candle and then I'm going to hold this balloon over the top of it and we'll see what happens. Alright, blowing my balloon up. There we go. So this balloon has nothing in it except for my breath, which is air. And there's lots of gases in air, like nitrogen and oxygen and see if you can think of other gases that are in air. What other gas is in my breath when it comes out? All right. Anyway, so that's what's filling up this balloon right now. Turn this down a little bit. I'm going to light my candle. What do you think is going to happen when I hold this balloon over the candle? You think about that before I do it. Okay, now I'm going to do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay so that was exciting now let's do that experiment again but with one slight twist i'm gonna put a tiny bit of water inside my balloon so i'm just this is just regular water squirting it inside there now i'll try and blow it up Balloons can be tricky, can't they, Billy? Yes, they can. Did he get a bit, bit of a fright? Okay, there's my balloon. Uh, it's hard to see, but yeah, there you can kind of see. See that water dancing around in the middle? There's a little bit of water just at the bottom here. What do you think will happen if I hold it over the flame now with the water inside? Let's see, shall we? I hope it doesn't make a mess and get water all over my bench. Okay, so the water is facing the bottom and I'm going to hold it over the flame. Oh, that flame is, is touching the balloon now. Hey, it hasn't popped. It hasn't popped yet. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's definitely different, isn't it? Wow, and can you see that, all the marks from the flame? Let's try a different area. Wow. How magic is that? What's happening? What's the water? doing? I don't know. These are discussions you can have with your class. 